Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Williams Fractal Indicator in the best possible way. But first, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. The Williams Fractal, often known as the Fractal, is a very simple and effective indicator. The Fractal Indicator helps us in identifying the short-term turning points of the price. Fractals are the arrows that can be seen on the chart. Green arrows pointing upwards represent bullish fractals. It indicates that the level can be a potential resistance. While the red arrows pointing downwards represent bearish fractals. It indicates that the level can be a potential support. Now the big question here is how these fractals are formed. Why the arrow doesn't appear above the other candles? To answer that question, we have to first understand how the fractal indicator works. An up fractal is formed when the middle candle is the highest point in the five candles pattern. There are two candles on the left-hand side with the highs lower than the center candle high, and two candles on the right-hand side with the highs also lower than the center candle high. Similarly, a down fractal is formed when the middle candle is the lowest point in the five candles pattern. There are two candles on the left side with the lows higher than the center candle lows and two candles on the right side with the lows also higher than the center candle low. Now, how to use fractals in trading? So, here's how many traders use the fractal indicator to find the entry signals. A buy signal is generated when a red arrow pointing downwards appears at the bottom of a candle. You can also place your stop loss order below the candle where the arrow is visible. Similarly, a sell signal is generated when a green arrow pointing upwards appears at the above of a candle. And you can place your stop loss above the candle where the arrow is visible. However, the fractal indicator creates a lot of false entry signals, which are unreliable. If you trade all of them, you will almost certainly lose money. Fractals are better thought of as short-term support and resistance levels. When a top fractal is formed, it is simply a short-term resistance level where the price encounters resistance and moves downward. Similarly, when a bottom fractal is formed, it is simply a short-term support level where the price encounters support and moves upward. So, our first strategy is to trade on the breakout of these fractals. So here's how it works. First, I'll use the 200 period simple moving average to identify the long-term trend. So, if the price is above the 200 period moving average, you'll only take signals from the top fractal, and if the price is below the moving average, you'll only take signals from the bottom fractal. In this chart, we can see that the price is above the 200 period moving average, thus we will only be looking for a buy signal. So the first step is to look at the most recent top fractal, which is formed here. Now, wait for the closing price to break out above that top fractal. Once this happens, you can take a buy position. You then place your stop loss below your entry candle and set your profit target at 1.5 times your stop loss. Similarly, when the price is below the 200 period moving average, we will only look for the sell signal. So, the first step is to look at the most recent down fractal, which is formed here. Now, wait for the closing price to break out below that down fractal. Once this happens you can take a sell position. You then place your stop loss above your entry candle and set your profit target at 1.5 times your stop loss. Now, let us understand a trend trading strategy using fractals. For that, we will use the alligator indicator created by Bill Williams. If you don't know how alligator works, let me give you a short explanation. If the price is below the alligator lines and all the lines are heading downward, then the price is considered to be in a downtrend, and we will only look for sell signals. Similarly, if the price is above the alligator lines, and all the lines are heading upward, then the price is considered to be in an uptrend, and we will only look for buy signals. Now, let's figure out how to use this strategy, and when to open positions. In this chart, we can see that the alligator is waking up, and starting to move upwards. So we'll only look for buying opportunities. The green line, crosses the red line and blue line from below. The last fractal formed at the top shows the entry point to the trade. A breakaway of the high of this fractal will signal to enter the market. 
The perfect moment is when the current price broke away the high, and the candlestick closed above the fractal. Then place a stop loss below the last downward fractal. And set your profit target at 1.5 times your stop loss. Similarly in this chart, we can see that the alligator is moving downwards. So we'll only look for selling opportunities. So when the green line, crosses the red line and blue line from above. The last fractal formed at the bottom, shows the entry point to the trade. A breakaway of the low of this fractal, will signal to enter the market. Then place a stop loss, above the last upward fractal. And set your profit target at 1.5 times your stop loss. So thank you guys for watching and if you like the video, then be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. I'll see you in the next video.